ultimately you see a police officer come up backups are called in the meantime the, the driver the mother is on the phone with 911 that's who you hear her talking to to say what's going on when he refuses to get out you finally see another officer approach with that axe crashing the window smashing that window you, that's when you hear the children react as they do and they tase him and finally get him out of the car these people have now filed a lawsuit against the police department saying uh, alleging excessive force using the taser re, they were uh, assaulted by the police officers police officers say you know we saw him moving for something and there could have been danger involved so we had to get they, in there. they made a state just quickly because i want to get uh, our lawyers takes on it the statement from the police department well they back up their actions saying safety was at issue but it reads in part police officers who make legal traffic stops are allowed to ask passengers inside of a stop vehicle for identification and to request that they exit a stop vehicle for the officer's safety without a requirement of reasonable suspicion paul callen is that going to be enough when they're looking at a lawsuit for what happened well, this thing functions on two levels, reasonable human being and legal, okay? The cops screwed up here. I mean, come on. I mean, there are kids in the back seat. A seven-year-old. Okay, they should have handled it differently. But the law, I think, will back them. And you have to understand that. Will back them. The yes, because family. you have an obligation to produce identification. If they tell you to get out of the I'm car, sorry, did get you out say of the, the car. The law will back the family or the, the law will no, back the No, the law will back the cops. You, they have the right to ask you to get out of the vehicle, show identification. And you know why? Cops get killed every day. About 50 a year get killed Sunny, in incidents like this. I have also been told as a single female driving on a road that if I see someone trying to pull me over, I have the right to continue to a populated area. Because if I am in fear, I don't have to stop on a road in the dark. Is this the same kind of fear? These people were afraid. The of course they were afraid. And I've got to tell you, I'm so upset. I think actually Paul is correct, but this is the hazard of being a black person in the United States today. I mean, there's a family in a car and, 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 and they are completely complying. You see that she has called 911. She, he isn't even driving the vehicle. He has provided several pieces of paper. This family was uh, of identification. This family was tortured for over 13 minutes those children were traumatized and guess what the law as it stands right now probably protects the police officers actions and as as a as an, uh, a, a woman of color I don't know what to do because this could happen to me this could happen to my child this could happen to my father this could happen to my husband what do we do about the inherent racism that we're seeing over and over and over again in these there's, United there's States no, there's during no, there's these no traffic evidence stops. here give that me this a break is, there's no this evidence is that this about is a race, race. give incident. me a break Paul. If there was a this white about, family, it this could have, have happened. happened. No, this would have, not have happened. You have no idea. I you, do have an idea. I think because I live uh, listen, in, in the United it's, States it's as wrong, the person that I am. It shouldn't have happened. But to turn everything into a racial issue, it's not I everything. Think, but this is, is incorrect. This is and and this legally. Is. The cops can ask you for ID, ask you to get out of the car. If you were with your family in that car, this would not have happened. Hey, listen, Period. The advice I give to my kids, don't get into an argument with a cop. They weren't arguing. Because you're never going to win. And um, yeah, I think you're both right. You both have a lot of merit in what you said. Susan, thank you for the reporting. I don't think that's the end of it. I think this is going to go on, and I think this could be one of those things where you see people taking to the streets out of the kinds of frustration that Sonny has uh, elicited. Wow. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Wolf starts right after this break.